The end of a bad marriage doesn't always mean the end of your trauma. The podcast Untying Knots is all about how to heal properly. The host Melissa Gellarducci, Hancock and Tanya Basher are here with us. You may remember Melissa came on the show last month to talk about her role as a divorce coach. And all I'm saying is that we have some we have some questions to ask you oh, here. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. So let's talk first about the, the podcast in general. You guys come together on this, and there obviously we know so many people go through a divorce. And even if it seems seamless, there's still so much that comes along with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, overwhelming. Yeah. It is. So what do you guys break down on the podcast? Everything. Yeah, <laughs> we do. So it's the, the subtitle of it is Navigating Divorce and Healing Trauma. So we literally take you through, if you think you might want to be going through a divorce, all the way through going through a divorce and all of the things that can happen from A to Z. And then what happens afterwards. So the healing, the trauma part of it is really about what happens once you go through a divorce and now you're left going, now what? Yeah. Now what? Yeah. And we talk I, about everything. Absolutely. And I think it is such a complex topic right. that you have to kind of take it apart just like that. Now, I know that you specifically have a focus on narcissistic partners. And unfortunately, I think that we all have a narcissist in our life in some capacity. Mm -hmm. And again, unfortunately, some of us choose to marry those people. Yes. How do you identify a narcissist as a partner in your life? I'll let Would you, you let me that. just speak to yeah, that? Go, yeah. So um, narcissistic personality disorder is very different than somebody who has narcissistic traits. Right. Narcissistic personality disorder is something that is diagnosed by a professional. Okay. And you have to have at least five of the nine traits that are listed in the Di Diagnostical Statistical Manual. So that's a very different thing. Narcissistic personality disorder, we aren't able to even diagnose. Sure. We all know what a narcissistic person is like based on the way that they behave. So things like gaslighting. I didn't say that. That's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. Or making you feel like you're crazy. You know, you, you no, that is not what I said at all. And you completely misconstrued that. And so they start kind of playing games with your mind. Um, a lot of times they will play the victim. Even if you are the victim, they'll turn it around back on you. So there is very much um, a theme in narcissistic behaviors that go along with narcissistic personality disorder. Sure. I, I have to imagine too, I mean, just having somebody like this in your life can be difficult. Being married to someone and going through the divorce process can be, I'm sure, traumatizing. Yes. Very. Yeah. I'm still, I mean, luckily that I found her um, through the years and have had her as a resource because my marriage was 20 years and I was married to a police officer. So a lot of, a lot of the things that I went through, it's um, it, the trauma. I didn't even realize how much I actually had mm -hmm. because you you do what everybody does as a mom. You put shove it down in there. You take care of the kids. You do what you're doing. Then you start to think you're crazy. Then you start to think like what what am I doing wrong and what's going on and all those things over the years. When you're when you're just you know letting that fester, there's a point where it's gonna it's gonna come back and you then have to deal with it and you don't know how it's gonna come out. So when you're doing it on your, on your own, I mean, that's where, where it can get scary because you don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. um, or who you're going to affect along the way. Um, luckily, I had her, and we've had many deep talks. And, right. you know, like I looked at her, I'm like, am I crazy? What's going on? Am I a narcissist? Like, you don't know what's right. happening because you're overthinking things. Right. So luckily, you know, this, this has been a good partnership um, in general for it. But, yeah, the, the narcissistic behavior, we call it a, more or less a personality disorder. Absolutely. What, what it is. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. And um, I just want to first note your bravery for starting all of this and being so incredibly vulnerable. I hope you yeah. both know what you're doing for so many Thank women. You. Right. Thank I mean, you. it is incredible. But if there's a woman listening right now who is relating to every word you're saying, what would be your biggest piece of advice? Where, what's, the, what's the place to start? What do they really need to notice? Not doing this alone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just going to say. Not doing this alone. We're, that's what we're here for. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, I'm, I did it alone. Um, I used my attorney as as a sounding board, and that sure. cost a lot of money. Right. So I uh, used my <laughs> Don't friends. Do that. Friends yeah. do it for free. <laughs> friends do it for free. Uh, but then they get tired of listening to it, or they get stuck in the middle, and they don't know what to do or uh, who to, yeah. you know, who to go to or what side to kind of pick. So that's where, where we come in, like let us help you figure it out and, and not have to worry about everybody else that you're affecting along the way. Is there a best way, I mean, and through your podcast, through discussing this, through having people to lean on, mm -hmm. uh, is there a best way to go through a divorce when you're doing it with someone who has narcissistic, narcissistic traits? 
I would say the best way to go through it is to not do what Melissa and I did, to do it by yourself, yeah, to right. find resources. So Melissa is a divorce coach, so she can help with going through the actual divorce process. There's also a lot of things that can happen to us psychologically, emotionally, mm -hmm. physically. Our immune system can be compromised because of the trauma that we the go stress. through, mm -hmm. all the of stress. the stress. Yeah. So working with me as well, um, being able to know what a narcissistic abuse specialist has that information on and how they can help you understand what's happening to you while you're going through that divorce can be helpful. Um, I would say ideally work with Melissa, mm -hmm. go through that with her as you're going through your divorce. Once you're almost through your divorce and after then, it's time to take care of yourself and to really become healthy and whole again and work with me. Yeah. You're a self -care perfect huge. team. Yep. Yeah, perfect the self, team. The self care is the big part afterwards. So. And this is kind of how this whole podcast started. Melissa's doing her divorce coaching. I'm doing my coaching mm -hmm. for narcissistic abuse recovery. Like we are going to be best we friends. We're going to do a podcast. We should start a business <laughs> and we're going to do a podcast. And then the next thing you know, here Ooh, we are. Here we are. Yeah. So, yeah. And thank just, God for you. Guys. Yeah. Because I mean, you're helping so many people heal, so like you mentioned. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for oh, coming on. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for having thank us. You, you got to check out the podcast. Untying Knots is on Spotify. If you're interested in checking out any of the episodes, we're going to have a link on our website.